Hey, everybody, Ron here with the next part two. Let's play God of War for the PlayStation 3. Brought to you by MuchGames.ca. So, in the last part, we solved the puzzle for Heroes uh, Necklace, which was a lot easier than the Apodoni one in a sense, because the Apodoni one you had to get for the spike trap without, you know, in a time limit, at least with the puzzle one, you didn't have any enemies to fight. You didn't even have the Apodoni one, but you didn't have a time limit. You basically walk at it yourself and make sure you know, take your time and walk at it. So, but now that we have the two necklaces, uh, we can move on to the next part. Which will be going for this area and using the two necklaces. That's easy. It's not gonna take long to do this part. And there is gonna be, I think, a custom color convention. Not yet, but there will be. There will be. Absolutely. Absolutely. Chest here. That's good. We need that chest. If use some more water wolves, basically. I am trying to get the main weapon for uh, Kratos here. The blades of chaos, is it? Up to the full, uh, full potential. Uh, I'm lost now. I can't remember where. I think it's just this way. from here. Just give me a few moments and I'll uh, be like that. Okay, so actually I was very close. I was just didn't go in the other direction. I was able to go in the other direction when I, when I found out my chest and I just didn't realize. Uh, so, let's go over here. Double jump. Find the ladder of hope. Yeah, let's see. On the ladder of hope here. Yeah, look at it. And let's come over here and put the places of uh, heroes and Apodotes. Ah, so it's going to make these platforms move. I guess once I put the other one in, the ones on our side will start moving. Yeah, if I'm not doing much commentary on this, I'm, I'm apologizing. I'm trying to concentrate, but I'm also not 100% today. I got a little bit of the sniffles, I guess. Or... Now I'm off for a week. Anyway, guys, I took a bit of vacation time. 
but I mean, not the sniffles, but I guess I'm a little bit tired still, and it is early in the day, so. A little bit early for recording for me. Usually I don't record at this time of the day, because I'm usually at work. Unless it's a weekend, of course, which is my work weekends. But, yeah, so sorry my commentary lacks a bit. The path before Kratos was clear, but still, the memories came rushing back, as familiar and permanent as the blades chained to his wrists. Memories of what he'd done in the name of Ares. Memories of how he'd become a servant to the god of war. A beast, his humanity robbed and replaced only with the will to murder. No one was safe. Entire armies fell before Kratos and the soldiers who followed him on his unending path of conquest, all in the name of his master. Those who offered resistance of any kind were dealt with quickly. They've built this temple to offer prayers to Athena! This entire village stands as an affront to Lord Ares! Burn this village! Burn it to the ground! Emboldened by the god of war, Kratos' army was ruthless, feared throughout the world for their brutality. All that mattered was conquest in the name of Kratos, their great leader, who had become near invincible. He feared nothing. But there was something about this temple, something forbidden. All his instincts told him he should never cross its threshold. Never step inside. Beware, Kratos. The dangers in the temple are greater than you know. But the village oracle's warning fell on deaf ears. His ambition would not be denied. All who opposed him would die. In that instant, the glory he had reveled in turned to horror. The image of his two final victims would stay with him for all his days. With that act, Kratos knew he could no longer serve his master. He had but one calling now, the death of Ares. He would murder the god of war. Ares. You will die for what you did that night. Alright, so that was an interesting cutscene, and now we got some enemies again. Yay! Enemies for the win. Interesting jump. I think you just gotta use a circle button or a square button if you get there. Uh, let me see how's that work. Um, cause we gotta jump from rope to rope. Actually, we're pretty close to getting the voyage of chaos off. I guess I'll do the Blades of Chaos right now. Get close to the 300. Or the. Not 300, level 5. 
which I do believe is the maximum. Okay. Uh, so, so, uh, yeah, here we go. So, and I think keep swinging a bit. Then double jump. And there we go. Oh, right under the wall. That's actually convenient. I do believe there's going to be enemies up once we go up uh, the, uh, pull the level and go up. Hmm. Probably the enemies come up now, so. Ah, the Architect's Tombs. We finally made it to the Architect's Tomb. I guess we'll save our game. It's probably a good idea to save our game. It's been a while. We're pretty far into the game. I think it's the Architect's Tomb, then there's another section, and then there's like the final boss. Uh, the Architect's Tomb, we're probably going to do in two videos. And the next part after that part, so I say it's not. Probably six videos left in this LP, possibly, depending on which way I do it. And if everything I do is uh, planned to do correctly. This may be five, um, not these six videos, give or take. Quite left in this LP. I'm looking forward to finishing this LP. I do love this game, but I am looking forward to finishing it. And moving on to other um, another side project. I have probably have I got a couple of games in my mind. So it's gonna be based on emulators. Um, I'm thinking of two games, basically a Game Boy Advance game, and the other game is a Game Boy game. I'm about to get more there. Which I can't play the game on right now. But yeah, I'm thinking of those games. Uh, I'm not going to mention what they are. I have a couple other games on besides that too. I was going to do God of War 2 right after this one, but I'm going to wait and do a side project or two before before getting the God of War. So God of War 2 will probably be sometime in 2016. So we're God of War 3. Um, so, let's just see. I know this statue is going to have to be put somewhere. I'm just trying to find where. Uh, I <laughs> So we're offline, then they come online. It's always great when Samurai makes an appearance in my videos, you know? When I'm playing PS3 and he makes an appearance. And you're just like, oh, Samurai made an appearance. Cool. Uh, I know we gotta drop something on, uh, right there, so... Hmm. Where to go? Where to go? Okay, yeah, so this gate here... Sorry that I had to take a point, uh, go and get something to drink, so... Pause the video. Recording? Um... Oh! You guys. So... Yeah, uh, you guys are pretty easy to navigate. They're not really a match for me anymore. A lot of the enemies are not really a match for me anymore. Oh! You bought a friend. And you want to dodge. Okay, you're not really damaging much, but you are becoming a pain, so. Okay, you're gone, wait. I think there's another one. Yep, there's another one. Okay, fighting on the stairs is probably not the best idea. And I don't want to use magic on them. I could use like the army of Hades probably in. Kick its ass, but... Let's just waste some magic. And I can just take a little bit of damage. Unless I want to block. 
Now I don't really block a lot in this game, although the final boss you will have to block. Well, it's a good idea to block. Ah, some enemies. Probably the army of Hades is probably gonna be a good idea here. Because we got the new Cerberus pups. Which are not that hard, they pretty much kill them easily, but the giant Cyclops is a pain in the butt. He's not hard, it's just annoying. Especially with the new Cerberus pups around. <laughs> Shoulder tackle. Can I give you a Superman punch? Actually, the Cyclops went down fast and flicked it in the flicking of the pumps. But I think there's another Cyclops. Okay, it's time for him. No, I guess there's another one of the Cyclops. Turn around, grab you. Grab your pop. What's that song? I don't know. I really don't know. So, yeah. It's been a couple of nice little days. I plan on trying to finish a lot of this today. In terms of recording. Phoenix Feather, Phoenix Feather, Phoenix Feather. Well, Phoenix Feather. Yeah, Phoenix Feather. So there's three more left, and they're actually will be enough to uh, fulfill it. Just so you know, they're actually will be enough to fulfill it. I think just enough. Hmm. What's this? Oh, okay. I see. Okay. I see how this works. I think I'm gonna move the crane over that part of, part of the ground and then drop that block basically on the short. So that will be my guess. Man, I'm probably right. Yeah, I know I'm right. It's pretty obvious to them. Yeah, I'm gonna drop the ground. Green. Be nice. Ground green. Be nice. There we go. Stop there. Good game. Alright, let's pull the lever. And break that ground. Now, I think what we have to actually do is drop the statue. If I'm correct, we gotta stop and drop the statue in here, because there's another switch, and we can't put the cinder block in there. So I do believe we actually got to drop the statue we have on the previous switch in here, then go back up. If I didn't have to put the statue there to begin with, I wouldn't have to go back up. Well, actually, because I would have been able to just continue on. I'm gonna make this a lot quicker, but I do believe we have to do that. And I do believe when I go over towards this way. Yep! I'm pretty sure that there's going to be side blocks. I use that. <laughs> I was gonna use. Ah, there we go. The army of Hades. It's so useful. I think another Cyclops is gonna show up though. To be honest, I really do think another one will show up. Yep, he did. This 
guy really likes to hit you with his club. That's a different kind of club. One that I'd rather over here in terms of video games. I'm not a person that really goes to clubs. Yeah. And bars and that. I'd rather have, if I'm gonna go drinking or have an iPhone, I'd rather just go to someone's house, to be honest. If there is a Christmas party coming up, and by the time you see this, uh, that might already happen. We'll be close to it for my work, but I'm not going to it. It's on a Friday, the 18th of December, but that's also the day Star Wars comes out. And I'm going to go see Star Wars. <laughs> you know, the Christmas party is that evening. I probably will go see Star Wars instead. But you know what? Let's continue on here. There's actually three switches we have to press. There's the one that's in the hole we just created. There's one where I had the statue on originally, which we got to put the block on it now instead. And then right back at the beginning where I originally saved, when we first got to the architect's tomb, there's actually a switch there. Now there's nothing to the hold that switch there. Basically, that switch, back over those platforms, the subways over there that you see it over, over yonder. And my final face of Temple makes me save it in yonder. Um, over there, over yonder basically, is where you're going. I wonder, can I drop there? That's kind of a wolf. We'll try. Yeah, it's a okay. Um, uh, let's try it again. Just to double check, but I don't think it's going to work. That's not gonna work. I wanna try it anyway. But I'm pretty sure it's not gonna work. I'm pretty confident what I have to do is put the statue in the hole. Which is probably going to be the best course of action here. Yeah, it still didn't move the statue perfectly when I had to fight those Cyclops, so I gotta do this a third time now. I'm gonna pull up that door over there and climb the stairs. Again. Okay. So let's see here. Uh, game, can I please... Thank you, game. So, let me see. Once I drop that weight block on that switch, I'll be stopping the video. Then I'll be pu uh, pushing the third switch at the end of the next video so that we can continue on, basically. Um, so, yeah. But let's go do that first. Most of this game can get really weird. I'm glad the game switches the angle when you're doing this, so it makes it easier. Okay, we're good. And I'm gonna drop this. And you know what? Now we get that done. So it's only the main door, which is the switch back at the beginning. So I'm gonna head over there. Uh, no, we still got one left. And basically, in the next part, we're going to push that switch. And I think that's. Yeah, okay, so make sure that's there. Okay. Alright, so in the next part, I'm going to push that switch. I just want to make sure that this is done right. Yeah, I do. And in the next part, we'll continue on. Peace out, guys, and thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next part of Let's Play God of War. Oh.